Hey everybody, Jay Sal, and welcome back to Jay Sal and Music. And on today's episode, I'm playing a Harley Benton Stratocaster style guitar, so stick around. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, Harley Bentons are Chinese-made uh, guitar, but they're sort of the house brand for the Tolman's Music Store. Uh, I think they originated in the UK. I know they're in the UK. They do have a, a USA, uh, I don't know if it's a branch, but you can order things from them and, ha and have it shipped uh, to USA. I mean, you can order stuff from the, from the UK one as well, but they're sort of uh, a brand uh, like, kind of like Donner. It's, it's, a it's sort of an inexpensive, uh, guitar brand. They make all kinds of different guitars. And I've, I've been wanting to try one of these and I finally got my hands on a Stratocaster style, uh, Harley Benton. And, uh, this is it. It's beautiful guitar, very well made, great finish on it. I love the tortoise shell pick guard. Don't know why I really like them. Uh, this is a vintage series. It's called the VT. If you can see that Harley Benton VT and uh, it's got the cool old style tuning keys on it which I really like and then it's got the the actual uh, posts where the string can go down inside of it it's got a little a little hole in there you can actually put the string down inside and then there's a little notch here so that the string could come out and then wrap around. But that's cool because then you don't get these sharp ends. Uh, this is probably an Indian Laurel fretboard. Not too many Rosewood fretboards around anymore, it seems like. It might be Rosewood, I don't know. I will post the specs in the description. Um, I think the body is poplar. Um, it's pretty pretty light. I mean, it's not super light like, like Basswood. Uh, really made, well made neck. Um, no sharp fret ends. Uh, Pretty sure it's maple. It almost looks like it could be a roasted maple neck because it's really dark. And it's got some really nice, nice figuring in it, if you can see it. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful guitar. Very well made. I uh, bought this second hand used and it's, I mean, it's like it was never used. <laughs> the pickups say Rosewell on them, so I don't know if that means anything. They kind of look like staggered poles, but I don't think they are. I don't think they're all Nico pickups. I think they're just uh, the regular magnetic pickups. So I've got it running through my Catalyst 100 amp. This is the middle, middle switch. Clean. Sounds real good on the clean channel. Let's put some distortion on. So yeah, the, there we go. Probably to put it out of tune again. So that there, it's a really nice guitar. They're pretty inexpensive. I know they're less than two hundred dollars. They have different series. Some of them are pretty pretty cheap. They're maybe right around one hundred and twenty five or something. Um, I think this was right around there. Um, it's just the standard VT series, so 
great guitar, it feels good. But the nice thing about it is the fret ends aren't sharp. Uh, it's very well made. Finish on it is great. The electronics seem pretty nice on it. It's got the vintage strap buttons, the vintage bent saddles, um, white knobs and pickup covers, uh, pickup cover on the back. It's got that stupid plastic <laughs> cover around the back plate. I don't know why they do that. I don't know. Seems to be a thing. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know why. I don't know why it bothers me either. <laughs> I don't get it. So there you go. That quick review of the Harley Benton VT series Stratocaster style guitar. These are really great guitars. I'll put the link to Tolman's. I think it's Tolman's or Thomas or Tolman or something like that in the description. Uh, if you're into really inexpensive guitars like the Donners and things like that, I mean, they're great guitars. I know a lot of guys get, like guys and gals, get, uh, you know, the inexpensive guitars. There's a group on Facebook called Awesome Cheap Guitars. Uh, there's a Facebook group called something about guitars under $300. I think they keep moving their price up though. <laughs> so, and uh, these guitars sort of fall into that realm. So it's like, you can be a collector and get a bunch of guitars and hang them on your wall and use different guitars and have different sounds and you don't have to spend a ton of money. Um, you know, I've played, I've played Fenders, I've played Gibsons and everything. And I, I mean, these are really nice guitars. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I wouldn't even call them an entry level guitar. I'd say this is an intermediate guitar. It's a really, really nice guitar. So, uh, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, we'll see you next time here on Jace Allen music.